If a visitor passes the Point Ellis House dining room and continues down the hallway, they will find themselves in the working end of the house. This part of the house hosts the kitchen, the servery, the china pantry, the scullery, and the servants' room. What visitors see today is not the original floor plan for this portion of the house. It was built by the O'Reillys in 1889 to suit their needs and was a total reconfiguration and expansion of the north side of the house. Without an archaeological exploration of the foundations of Point Ellis House, it is difficult to know exactly what the original floor plan looked like. Through the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the O'Reillys employed household staff to cook, clean, and maintain the kitchen garden for the family. This end of the house would have been their workspace. Central to the work of serving the household was the kitchen. Equipped with pots, pans, various utensils, a copper water boiler, and a French range stove, this room had everything the household staff needed to prepare meals for the family. Located just off the kitchen was the food pantry, which provided easy access to staple foods needed in everyday cooking. Most food was prepared on the coal-fired French range stove purchased by Peter and Caroline O'Reilly in 1889 at Victoria's Albion Iron Works. Once a meal was finished cooking and ready to eat, staff would move their preparations into the servery. Here, food would be plated on sets of fine dinnerware selected from the adjacent china pantry before being carried away to the awaiting dining room. As diners finished their courses, plates would be cleared and brought back through the servery and kitchen to a room called the scullery. This was where staff would wash dirty dishes and empty wash basins of grey water. The space was also used for scrubbing and soaking when clothing and bedding needed to be washed. The scullery sink emptied through a pipe into a soak pit, a deep pit lined with rocks and gravel designed to filter water back into the ground. This was the water disposal method used at Point Ellis House prior to the widespread use of sewerage systems in Victoria. In the 1960s, some cheap and cheerful updates occurred in this portion of the house, including new wallpaper and a coat of bright yellow paint on most of the wainscoting. These choices tell the story of John and Inez O'Reilly's time preparing to open the house as a private museum. By the 1990s, many of these frugal updates had begun to show their age. Much of the historical plaster was cracking or stained, and the 1960s white and yellow paint had begun to chip away in many spots. These issues were partially addressed in 2021, with the servery, scullery, and servants' room being restored. The wainscoting was stripped of the yellow paint back to its natural wood grain, and the plaster restored by a specialist using historical techniques. These rooms now appear much closer to how they would have looked when this end of the house was finished in 1890. In 2022, the 1960s paint and wallpaper remain in the kitchen, but they too are showing their age, and we hope to eventually restore the kitchen to its 1890s resemblance. <laughs>